Tuesday's toilet talks in the holiday season in the home market has been anything but normal. Stay tuned for community news as well. It's Tuesday, it's the holiday season, and the real estate market has been anything but what it usually is. Usually this is the time where I can take a little time off, you know, read a few books, maybe not have as many evening showings. But with the inventory the way it is and the home buyers having less to do, home shopping is kind of the new activity. It's kind of the social activity for the holidays. So we've been out and about with our clients showing houses and it's a really good time to be a seller because you've got active buyers for this one time that we've ever seen during COVID, which there's not many people going to holiday parties, there's not many people traveling, and what you're seeing is them just exploring the market. They're actually in the winter time for the first time, and during the holiday season specifically, looking for homes, changing up their lifestyle, trying to get more space as we're really seeing. So sellers are typically told this time of year that, hey, just wait till spring, you know, that's when you're gonna see the most home buyers, you're gonna have the most demand. It's just not the case. We're seeing home sellers get their market on the get their house on the market at 3 p.m. and by the next day they've got highest and best and they might even they might not even have those evening showings the next evening. So it's a great time to be a seller. Buyers, you just have to be educated in this market. You have to understand the value for one house. There might be a buyer out there that has a greater value for that same house have to be educated in this market to make an aggressive offer, but not stretch too far in this market either. Okay, in community news, it's all about the community. And when I look back on 2020, I look at those who made my community stronger, even through uncertain times. Their leadership aspects, or their passion for other people, or even the restaurant owners who have found ways to stay in business, and those are jobs in our community. So I'm looking at those local restaurants. I bought some gift certificates from them, but I'm also looking at the local charities or um, the organizations that really pull the community together. I know that Young Life is one that I support and they've got a charitable giving called Three for 35K. Um, they're doing a three day kind of open window and you'll see their videos on Inst Instagram and Facebook and they're trying to raise some money. It's a local kids, youth driven community um, and I think that um, I'll be donating and I hope you do as well. But seriously, look, look back on the year. Be grateful for what, what has happened in your communities. The communities that I serve, all of their home prices have gone up. Uh, you should have more equity in your home. And it's because you have leaders in your community, community who are passionate and are giving back to pull the community forward. So happy holiday season and until um, next Tuesday.